Today, we're learning how to make these nice animated card slides in PowerPoint, all the way from scratch. We'll look at how to create these shapes as well as the animations. Here is the purple theme color palette I have used. Let's start from a blank slide. Right-click and select Format Background, then go to Gradient Fill. Remove unwanted gradient stops, select Type to Radial, the third one from this. Now click on the right gradient stop and add dark purple. Now select the other stop and add a light purple. Now click on shapes and add a rounded rectangle. Select no outline. Click anywhere on the screen to unselect the shape. Now let's add a circle on the top of the rectangle. Make sure the circle is placed in the center like this. Go to shape outline and select no outline. Again, to unselect the shape, click anywhere on the screen. Now hold control and select the rectangle first. Then after that, Select the circle and go to Merge Shapes and select Subtract. Let's give the shape a nice color. Select the shape, go to Shape Fill, and select a nice color like this one. Now let's add one more rounded rectangle. For that, go to Shapes, add a rounded rectangle and make sure the width of the shape is equal to that of our old one. For that, add it like this. Then go to Shape Outline and select No Outline. Let's play with the roundness a bit. For that, go to the yellow dot, Hold the left mouse button on it and drag it upwards a bit like this. Now for this, go to Gradient Fill. Then go to Type and select Linear and set the angle to 90 degrees. Now let's add a nice gradient with a combination of white on the top and light purple on the bottom. Now if we send this to back, it really gives a dynamic letter vibe. You can see. Now let's take it out and add nice shadows. For that, select the shape Go to Format Shape, go to this pentagon icon here, and add a shadow facing to the right side. Play with the settings to get the best result. Put transparency to around 60 to 70%, blur to around 11, and distance to 4. Now to make the shape pop more, we'll add a nice glow effect. For that, select the shape, go to Format Shape, go to Shadows, select Right Offset, go to Color and select the same color we filled earlier, and play with the settings. Put blur around 30 and distance to 4. And now we are good to go. This is already popping out. Now let's add content to the card. For that, select the rectangle, right click, and choose Bring to Front. Now go to Insert and add a text box on the top of the card. Put any abbreviation that matches your theme. I'm putting A, B, C, D. You can, though, put 1, 2, 3, 4 accordingly. Make the text center aligned. Add whichever font you prefer. I am using Montserrat and a nice gray as the font color. Add a text box again just below this heading. Write whatever your title is and make that bold with the same color as the shape outside. Add one last text box for your content and place it below the title. We are using dummy text as an example. You can though, write whatever you want. Make the font size 14 and center align the text. Now select everything we just wrote on this white card and the white card as well. Go to shape format, then group, and select Group Them. Now they work as the same layer. Select the rectangle, right-click, and select Send to Back. Now nicely arrange it to make this look like a letter. Just arrange it so that only the top abbreviation is visible. Either it's an alphabet, like in our case it's A. So we'll arrange the title box a bit lower. And that's it, we are good to go. Now select this, hold Ctrl and Shift, and drag this three more times to make copies. Instead of making them one by one, it's a much better way. Now let's select the second card and change the color to some different shade. Similarly, change the glow to that color only. Go to the third one and do the same. Change the color of the card to some nice shades of purple, followed by the shadows to that same color as well. Similarly, for the fourth one, do the same. Now let's go and change the text color and abbreviations for every card. Go to the second card and change it to B and change the title color to the same card color. Arrange it back. Now moving to the third, change it to C and change the title text to the same color given in the card. Arrange it back as well. Now the last one, the fourth one, do the same and change it to D and same for the title text. So we did most of our part already. Let's arrange all the cards at the same distance. I hope you can do that. It's simple. Just select the whole card like this and press shift while moving the card here and there. Now let's move the first card a little like this. Okay, so the arrangement is now done. Let's add nice icons for the cards. For that, 
go to Insert and then go to Icons, and find icons according to your concern. I am randomly adding four icons for the cards. Add them and now wait and deselect them. Select any one of them at a time and take it to the cards like this and place it in the center. Let's do that for all the shapes. Since these icons are black, they are not looking good. Let's add some gradient to the icons. For that, click on the icon, go to graphics format at the top, and tap on convert to shape. Now we can add our gradient. Go to gradient fill, select linear with 90 degrees, add white color on top and card color on bottom. Now do the same for all the icons. We are now done with the background theme, shape alignment, and everything. Let's start the animation part now. For that, duplicate the slide four times. You can do that either by right-clicking on the side panel or by using the shortcut control and D. Now let's go to the next slide and take out the content of the first card. Now go to the next slide and take out the second card. Go to the next and take out the third. And for the fourth, the fourth. Go to the first slide and duplicate it again. Now go to the first slide again and select all the cards and put them down in a subtle manner. Now let's add a text box and write some dynamic text. Animated. I'm using the font Babus Nia. Make the font size bigger and make it white. Insert one more text box and write cards. Make it bigger and use a nice font. Sign painter with yellow color. Now select the upper text and go to text options and add a shadow with right offset using white color and play with the settings. Put blur 40 and distance 4. Now give a shadow to the other as well, but this time, top offset with blur 11 and distance 4. Now select the texts and paste them on the second slide and place them out of the slide like this. Don't forget to hold shift while dragging them. Now hold control and select all the slides by left clicking on them. And after that, go to transitions and select morph. Let's preview now. You now know how to make these nice animated card slides in PowerPoint. It gives a very professional look to your presentation. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.